Uh, the Washington <laughs> Capitals. So rather than saying <laughs> why they're so good, I think what a lot of people are struggling to understand is why are they so much better than last season? Why they're not bad? Yeah, like because yeah. I think we all kind of, well, except Caps fans, but like non-Caps fans went into last year, they make the playoffs, kind of fluky. I think we can all admit it. They get the Rangers and everyone's like, yeah, this is probably an ass kicking. And it was. And then now they look great. Aren't they leading the Metro right now? I don't have it pulled up in front of me, but they're, they're... not leading the Metro right now. That's the oh. the rags, I think. Um, OK, it's by a point or two. They're, yeah. they're right up there. Um, first thing I go to when, you know, we're answering the question, why is this team so much improved from last year is the passing. And that's the best thing I've seen out of this team to start the year is not the goal scoring. Goal scoring is great. I love that it's up franchise record to start the season. That's incredible. But breakout passes, cross ice passes are actually getting on tape this year, which last year they were only getting on tape for people wearing white sweaters going the other way. Um, So that was a problem. But uh, yeah, I think, you know, guys like. Dubois, we've talked about Manjapani. Those guys have fit in great. I know Chikrin and Roy looked good. I know we only saw one game out of Matt Roy, hoping to get him back soon, but um he should be back next game. Like by the time you're right. listening to this, I'm pretty sure he'll be back. That um passing, like I said, the Carberry system, I lump that into, you know, um defensively, the forwards look a lot better, not just the defense. I think the forwards look a lot better. And then Alexei Protus is just like a complete man child right now. It looks like he put on 15 pounds of muscle in the off season. It looks like he got like 25% faster and he's shooting the puck. And the dude has a nasty release. Yeah. yeah. So for me, it, it's all things you just said for sure. But I think like it would be easy to say like, oh, well, they added a bunch of people that are good. Manjipani, P.L. Dubois, Chikrin, Roy, we got Logan Thompson, whatever. You can name all these people, Duhame, Radish. But for me, it's two guys that were here last year that are just so clearly have taken a ginormous step, not just because they're scoring goals, but they are like they look like full-time NHL players. And that's Connor McMichael and Alexi Protus. They both are like I, I'm I'm blown away by the way that those two guys have played all the Caps games this year. And again, it's not just because they're fine in the back of the net. They definitely do have some uh, some good offensive chemistry on the lines they're on. Uh, McMichael being on that second line and then uh, Protus playing with Ovi and Strom. Uh, but I think that they are just playing a really strong 200-foot game. I don't know if it's just, you know, they've bought into the Carberry system now in the second year or whatever it is, maybe maybe they just ate a lot of Wheaties over the summer or whatever, but they look fucking good. And I think like seeing those two younger guys take that big of a leap is kind of pulling a lot of the weight for the team right now. That's a great point. But Michael has looked unbelievable. I would say it looks yeah. like he's almost like a veteran second or first line scoring winger in the NHL right and now. And he, he just looks like he's having a blast out there. Like he almost like, the last like couple seasons, you could tell he's playing like he's fighting for a spot in the lineup. Right. You know what I mean? Like he scores a goal and he's like almost not excited because you can just see he's almost like taking a big sigh of relief. Like, oh, OK, maybe that means I won't get scratched next game, like that kind of thing. And it's like he's you just see him skating out there and he just looks really free, really, really unbothered, really uh, comfortable out there. And when he scores goals, he's laughing, he's smiling. He's just, you know, he's, it's like, he's been there before. It's just like, he's, uh, he's up to the task. Yeah. He's got 12 points in 11 games guy through 80 games last year, had 18 goals through 11 games. He's got seven this year. I mean, he is on a he's... scorching pace, just had a kid. So congrats to him. That's awesome. It's crazy to think that, so many young players on this Caps team are dads. Like Strom's got two kids. Mikey just yeah. had one. I think Alexiev just had one. Yeah, he did. Yeah. All right, kids boys, are let's get popping. Daddy Mikey. <laughs> Set, settle down. <laughs> let's get popping. No, but McMichael's definitely taking a step. I mean, as a as a Pens fan, just who gets the local televised uh, Caps games, you can tell he's he looks really, really good. I think him and Strom are definitely the future. And the other thing that's really interesting too about this team is like so far, 
Um, honestly, the goalies haven't looked amazing. Yeah. But we're still winning games. So, like, if they can find a little, if one of those guys can kind of go on a tear here uh, and start earning the lion's share of games, even just for a couple weeks or something like that, then that kind of maybe motivates the other one to to want to play better when he gets chances. Not saying they've been awful or anything, but um, it's mostly the goals that have been like winning us games. We haven't had like a ton of uh, like really, really sound defensive games, I'd say. And again, we've been missing Chikrin in the last couple games, been missing Roy the whole season, basically. Um, so, and, and uh, they, I will say they've each Lindgren and Thompson, they've each had maybe like one really good game so far. But uh, I think that there's another level for both of those guys. And I'm still kind of waiting for both of them to, uh, to find their, like their, their actual groove. But that being said, the fact that we're what eight, three and oh, or something like that. And, and I'm saying the goaltending hasn't been that good. That's a good sign. Yeah. That's you'd like sign. them to get to a point where they're, you know, they're winning games, not four to three, but maybe four to one, four to two. I can live with um, two other points. I want to highlight the fourth line has been incredible. Um, the production yes. from Unreal. the fourth line is amazing. Dow, Duhame, Radish, Love that they bring in Radish, especially with the junior connections he has with Strom anyways. Total energy line. Absolutely. And then one other player I think that has just looked fantastic to watch has been Rasmus Sandin. Not only with the defensive plays he's making, but I could watch that guy skate for hours. Yeah, he kind of seems like he's taken a little bit of a step too. And and yeah. I feel like, uh, like, don't forget, he's pretty young too. So like that's a guy who's still developing his game for sure, but... There were some times last year where I was a little like, eh, I don't know yeah. if I'm sold on this guy. Like he he had some good moments, but he also played hurt, hurt last year. He did. He did. Um, but he he made me a little nervous at times last year. You know what I definitely. mean? I, I don't I feel a lot more confident watching him this year. Than and I he seems more confident past. this year, which I mm -hmm. think is huge. And I don't know whether that's, a, you know, hey, I'm buying the Carberry system. I don't know if it's a, you know, that plus a combination of I got the hell out of Toronto. Uh, who knows? Mm -hmm.